Ladies and gentlemen, there's no way anyone beats him. Your Fortnite World Champion, Booga! Step into a world where pixels become battlegrounds, where virtual heroes rise and fall and where victory is measured not by physical strength, but by pixel perfect precision. Welcome to the realm of esports, where gaming transcends mere entertainment and becomes a fierce arena of competition. Welcome to the rise of esports, a phenomena that has taken the world by storm. But how did esports evolve from a niche hobby to a global sensation? Well, the world of sports has undergone a significant transformation. With the emergence of esports, a form of competitive gaming played at a professional level. What was once considered a niche subculture has now become a global phenomenon, captivating the attention of millions of fans worldwide and generating substantial revenue. But this was not always the case. So, how did it all start? That is exactly what we will find out in this video. So get ready to enter the exhilarating world of esports, where virtual battles captivate millions and redefine the boundaries of competition. This is the story of the rise of esports, from niche to mainstream phenomena. Are you ready to level up? Then let the games begin. First, what does eSport even mean? Well, it refers to organized competitive gaming where professional players compete against each other in various video games. The popularity of eSports has surged in recent years, attracting a dedicated fan base and substantial investments from major companies. Esports tournaments now feature large prize pools and draw crowds comparable to traditional sporting events. This shift has propelled esports into mainstream, challenging traditional notions of sports and entertainment. When we look at the historical evolution of esports, we can trace it back to arcade gaming and LAN parties. The root of esports go back to the early days of arcade gaming in the 1970s and 1980s. Competitive gaming emerged as players sought to achieve high scores and dominate leaderboards. Additionally, LAN or local area network parties became popular in the 1990s where gamers gathered in local venues to connect their computers and compete against each other. With the advent of the internet, competitive gaming communities began to form, connecting players from different locations. Online multiplayer games such as Doom Quake and Counter-Strike became popular, allowing players to compete against each other virtually. These communities fostered a competitive spirit and laid the foundation for organized esports competitions. Certain games played a pivotal role in shaping the esports landscape. One notable example is StarCraft, a real time strategy game released in 1998, which gained immense popularity in South Korea and became a national phenomenon. Other influential games include Dota, League of Legends, and Counter Strike which attracted large player bases and facilitated the growth of professional competitions. Next, let's discuss the role of internet connectivity playing its magic in facilitating online multiplayer gaming. While the proliferation of high-speed internet connections has been instrumental in the rise of esports, stable and reliable internet connections allow players to compete against each other remotely, eliminating the need for physical proximity. This connectivity enabled the growth of online gaming communities and provided foundation for competitive online play. Then came the growth of streaming platforms, further fostering eSports viewership. The rise of streaming platforms such as Twitch and YouTube Gaming revolutionized the way eSport content is consumed. These platforms allowed players to broadcast their gameplay live to a global audience. 
viewers could watch their favorite players compete, engage with the community, and enjoy live commentary and analysis. Streaming platforms significantly increase the accessibility and visibility of esports, attracting a wider audience. Esport events are now professionally produced with high quality live broadcasts featuring expert commentary analysis and engaging visuals. The introduction of dedicated esport broadcasting teams and production companies has elevated the spectator experience, making it more organized. With this organization, there has been a development of esport leagues, teams and governing bodies. As esports gained popularity, the need for formalized structures became evident. Esports leagues such as Overwatch League and League of Legends Champion Series were established to provide a structured competitive environment. These leagues introduced team-based competitions, regular seasons, playoffs and championships, mirroring the organization of traditional sports. Additionally, governing bodies like International Esports Federation and the Electronic Sport League emerged to oversee regulations, standardize rules and promote fair play. Major brands, including technology companies, energy drinks and apparel manufacturers have recognized the marketing potential of esports and formed partnerships with teams and leagues. These sponsorships provide financial support for players and teams, helping them compete at the highest level and creating opportunities for further professionalization. Esports organizations have adopted professional training methods similar to traditional sports. Players undergo rigorous training regimens, including practice sessions, strategy discussions, and physical fitness routines. Esports teams now have coaches, analysts, and support staff to maximize performance. Furthermore, players' contracts and salaries have become more standardized, providing stability and professional recognition. Then there is the growth of dedicated esports arenas and spectator experience. The demand for live esports events has led to the development of dedicated esports arenas. These arenas provide state of the art facilities for competitions, offering immersive experiences for both players and spectators. The integration of advanced technology such as large screens, immersive sound systems, and augmented reality enhances the spectator experience. The atmosphere of live events with roaring crowds and intense matches adds to the excitement and sense of community within the esports ecosystem. Esports has made significant inroad into mainstream media and traditional sports network. Television channels such as ESPN and BBC now broadcast esports events, increasing its visibility and accessibility to a broader audience. Esports coverage in newspapers, online publications and social media has become commonplace. This integration into mainstream media has helped to legitimize eSport as a legitimate and widely recognized form of competition. Top eSports players have achieved celebrity status, garnering large followings and fan bases. They are admired for their exceptional skills, strategic thinking and dedication to their craft. And how is this affecting the gaming industry? eSports has had a profound impact on the gaming industry, influencing game development and design. Developers now consider the competitive aspect of their games, aiming to create balanced and engaging gameplay mechanics that lend themselves well to eSports competition. But there are many challenges in this rising phenomenon. While the eSports industry has expected remarkable growth, ensuring its long-term sustainability remains a challenge. Maintaining a steady influx of viewers, Securing sponsorships and attracting new players are crucial for its continued success. The industry must also adapt to evolving technologies, changing player preferences and emerging game genres. Collaboration between stakeholders, include game development, tournament organizers and sponsors is vital for the sustained growth and development of the esports ecosystem. So, what's the final verdict? While looking ahead, the esports industry holds immense potential for further growth and development. With the continuous advancements in technology, such as virtual reality and augmented reality, esports experiences are expected to become even more immersive and engaging. The integration of esports into emerging platforms, such as mobile gaming and cloud gaming services, will broaden its reach and accessibility to a larger audience. And we wouldn't mind in broadening our accessibility to a broader audience. How? You can help us in our quest. 
It's super simple. Subscribe to our channel, like our videos and share them with fellow enthusiasts. Until we meet next, stay curious, stay awesome. Volt of Vox signing off.